Holding your pool. This is John. Can I help you? Yeah, it's up. Okay. Sounds good. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Typical. I'm John McLean. I've been working here for, oh, going on five years. Before that, uh, I made a lot of fish babies with my wife. That was exciting. We got a couple little pollywogs swimming around the backyard. So that's always fun. No, that's a lie. I don't have any kids at all. But um, I do enjoy children. That's one reason I like working at the pool is uh, I get to work with the kids. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a good thing, I think, for the most part. You should go tell it. How old are you? You're 30? No, 33. 33. Wow, that is pretty old. 300? 300 years old. You are crazy. No, I'm not 300. I'm 30. Are you sure? Yes. Nice to meet you, sure. I'm still John. <laughs> That's an unusual name. Well, I'm responsible for the, everything that happens during my shift. I'm uh, kind of in charge, you, you could say, as much as anyone's ever in charge of anything in life. I'm opening right now about 5 o'clock in the morning so that the swim team kids can swim. I don't resent that at all. Got to got to make sure the chemistry is correct so their skin doesn't get burned off. Everything's looking pretty good today. These controllers can go crazy, and uh, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Um, Homeland Security has nothing to do with it, but they should because people can die. Yeah, we got a new uh, tester kit for our manuals. It's digital, high tech. Everybody's gonna get the same digital readout as long as they don't mess up the test. Which, you know, I found my urine. Does funny things to the test, but. And then I'm here till about one o'clock in the afternoon, which works for me, because I can go home and sleep off the hangovers. Yeah, I woke up with a cold on uh, Tuesday. And then no voice on Thursday, so. Which I think the drinking contributed to, but uh, my name is Owen Williams, and I've worked here at Olinger Pool for um, longer than I'm going to tell you, <laughs> which is actually almost nine years. It'll be nine years in February. Um, I am graduating this year from a management school, so I've learned lots of great ways to work with people and. Um, you know, share my expertise about managing organizations such as the Olinger Pool. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I graduate in May and I already have a job lined up, which doesn't start till next September. So I have a little bit of time until then. <clears throat> so unfortunately, I have to keep working here. My favorite thing to do is to fool everyone into thinking that I'm actually guarding by standing here and moving my head back and forth. But in reality, I wouldn't even know if somebody were drowning because <clears throat> though my head is doing this and my eyes are open, I'm actually asleep. And my, my thoughts are wandering back and forth between why do I still work here and what's a way that I can make money really quick so I don't ever have to work here again. Hey, Allison. Dan is not going to be here, so if you want to get dressed, I'll write you up a workout real quick that you can go through. That can be your warm-up. Okay. <clears throat> so this is our leader's manual um, it's full of a lot of really good ideas and suggestions I mostly use it when I get stuck which isn't very often because I'm good at my job between you and me I didn't know there were different colored pages and nowhere in this policy and procedures training and reference manual for recreation leaders does it say that I have to be overly nice to people. It just says that I need to make sure they're not stupid and can actually do their job correctly. I find that uh, the backs of the blank pages come in handy for writing notes. Let's look at the table of contents here. Let's look for being nice to others. Yep, not seeing it. Owen is a dick, flat out dick. And some people say it behind my back, other people actually have the guts to come tell me that they think I'm, a, uh, I'm an evil person or whatever. I go to school and I see all these idiotic people around me 
and then I, I think to myself, I'm like, you know, as much as I hate Owen, I know he would say the perfect thing right now. Oh, I love these kids. I love these kids. At 1.30 like it always is. So you guys have to wait 25 minutes before we take okay, mine. Okay. Not till, not till 1.25. We always come at 1, and it always doesn't start till 1.30. I don't get it. Oh shit. <laughs> My thought isn't necessarily that I'm I'm not an evil person. It's just that I'm not I'm not like a necessarily a bad mean person. I'm not overly nice to people. Olinger Pool, this is Ray, how may I help you? <clears throat> um, I think so. Let me check the schedule. Yep, it is. Yeah, and then there's the ladies. That's endless. Chicks in swimsuits, you know, and they see you and you're kind of a uh, sex symbol, so to speak, when you're up there in the guard stand. Something about the power. You're a little dictator when you're out there, and that feels good. It feels good to know that you're in charge no matter what happens, and people have to listen to whatever I say when I'm on duty and I'm on deck because I'm the manager and I'm the lifeguard, and damn it, that's all there is to it. So, <clears throat> what this thing says is I have free reign to ensure that this pool runs smoothly and that people aren't stupid and actually do their jobs. <laughs> Does it ever get dull around here? Yes. That was the catchphrase for several years was, I just got paid to do that. And sometimes I like to play a little joke with the old spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. During the school year, it can get a, a little dull around here, and sometimes you have to find little things to entertain yourself, you know? And so there's kind of a challenge going on here in the pool office to see who can close the drawer the most times the most rapidly without causing it to buzz. Now I'm trying to think of some of the stupid crap that we did other than jumping off the roof and into the pool and stuff like that. Sometimes I just, I break it. We don't, we don't tell management about that. This is one of my new techniques. I don't have a whistle, so we gotta go through until we find one. Winner. Hmm, freaking taxpayers. I'm on the clock right now. This is what I do. I save lives. It's more important than paper. Paper means nothing to me. Fuck the trees. That is the most difficult part of my job, is getting morons to do theirs. I'm not kidding. <clears throat> Go clean the bathroom. Well, what do you want me to do tonight? Clean the bathroom? But what do you want me to do? Everything? Okay. Um, you get your occasional fecal incident. That's always fun. Uh, Nothing like scooping poop out of the pool. Uh, tends to happen with our special ed groups or staff. But, you know, that's just because they need a day off. And who doesn't from time to time? Kind of. Lord knows I do. If you don't start actually looking at the pool, I'm going to write you up. God. Oh, God. All these different things you can do. Like, how about you can clean the doors and door frames? The person takes off like they're about to go clean it and comes back like two seconds later. What's a door frame? I was so frustrated by that time, I just turned around and walked away. I'm in the first guard stand and I look over. <laughs> and this guy's tall and skinny and she's <clears throat> semi-tall and very overweight. So I look over and he's in the pool and he has her shoulders on or his, her legs on his shoulders. 
but her crotch is right here. He's holding like this, like just face in her crotch, like this. And she's, do, she's doing this thing, she's doing this. Until finally she looks over at me, and I've been staring at them for about 15 seconds like this. I was about to throw up though. I mean, the next, the next move was me like, Bwah. I also feel like uh, staff should be treated as equals. Well, <laughs> that's kind of a joke, not really as equals, but. At any day, I might just feel the need to tell people that um, if they want to actually be good parents to not drop off their three-year-old, even though the five-year-old is taking care of the three-year-old and neither one can swim. Um, so I feel like that day is coming really soon, but I'm just not sure when, because I actually need to make a little bit of money before I leave, leave Salem next summer, so. I think sometimes some of the other managers um, might think I'm a little slack, but I've got a really good record on rescues and what goes on down here in the morning. No, no complaints for customers. No dead bodies on my shift. Can't say that about everybody else, but um, no, that's a lie. I hide them. <laughs>